We begin this review with a new creation from Zack Mirbach Films, better known as ZMF today, the Caldera. This planar headphone, a first for this company, is the culmination of the last 14 years of development. Beginning the story with the modding of planar drivers back in the day, which led to the creation of the very first in-house headphone, the Atticus, the Aeolus, the Verite, and then there was a pause for the cause. Some new development had to be put into place and some new technologies had to be created, starting with the atrium damping system for the new headphone at the time, the atrium open and now the atrium closed. But in the background, the development of a planar driver was underway, undergoing serious revisions over and over and over again, eliminating problems, developing new technologies. The CAMS for the Caldera finally releasing these onto the market. Hi, I'm Koji CEO. Welcome to Convince Me Audio. Let's look at the ZMF Caldera together. A very special heartfelt thank you to Zach and Bev and the team for lending this unit to CMA for review. It's very much appreciated. This review is the second revision. The first review was shot last year around April time and it was supposed to be released prior to Munich but unfortunately due to a lot of unforeseen circumstances the review got delayed. And finally it got thrown onto the editing table in December and I looked at it and I realised so much had changed starting with my thoughts on the unit itself. These units have had over a thousand hours on it since they were released. A nice selection of pads, including one of these, my favorite, like thin cowhides. But before all of that, let's discuss the headphones themselves. These are very much designed in the same manner as other ZMF headphones. Same traditional headband, head strap, different materials for the adjusting mechanism, in the selection box when you buy this unit and then we drop to these beautiful baffles which are carbon fiber, beautiful woods that can be selected in a variety of styles and when you put this next to the Verite and Atrium it's kind of difficult realizing which one is which because it's a ZMF headphone so I usually detect it via the big grills here. Some of these grills are smaller than others, some of them stick out, some of them concave inwards. But predominantly the headphones are pretty much of the same family and look stunning on the wall. Mini XLR is still used, this hasn't changed, I don't believe ever, thank you Zach. Consistency is key over here. And the exciting stuff is underneath these wedged Caldera pads. Now on the Caldera there is a right pad and a left pad. One of them is indicated by a little red dot. The pad itself is wedged, the thicker part of the pad resides underneath the ear like so, and the flatter part of the pad is gently resting on your cheek. Same rolling style is used. You basically spread it like this and you put it over the baffle. Easy, straightforward, finicky, and just depending on who you are and how much experience you have. Pad rolling is an essential part of ZMF headphones. Uh, though I do find this method a bit cumbersome. I prefer magnets the way, for example, a tungsten or a meze is, but it is what it is. And these pads can be used with other headphones. The Caldera itself is a 60 ohm headphone, 95 dB sensitivity, pretty easy to drive, hits its ceiling pretty quickly, and equipment pairing is not as essential as a Hi-Fi Mansasvara or LCD5. Thank you, that is quite important. The development of the proprietary technology for the driver is this 
volcano-esque, hence its name caldera, cone-shaped design for the magnets in front of the driver. This is a new development for ZMF. He was trying to keep and maintain the same house sound, the same weight, tonal density, and most importantly, gorgeous mid-range, etc. And new developments had to be made in-house for this criteria. I will link both of Zach's own documentaries in regards to the development of Caldera on his own channel down below. These calderas are as comfortable as any other ZMF headphone and being able to choose a myriad of finishes and woods and stuff etc um, you will be able to find one that suits your needs and they cruise around the 490 to about 530 gram category so not too bad at all. Distribution of weight is rather nice and quite comfortable. The ZMF Caldera is a neutral bright headphone. It emphasizes a little bit around the 6 kHz region and its mid-range is derived of the Verite somewhat, so a touch warm. But it is a neutral headphone with certain elevations here and there. I find that this headphone sits very comfortably in the family of ZMF headphones and I feel as though you could own Atrium and Verite alongside this because it's a gradual leaning into whatever direction you line these headphones up. In, for example, Atrium being the most neutral with a bit more of a darker mid-range to my ears, one of the most beautiful tuned headphones I have ever come across despite of price. Then subtly leaning into the Verite where it becomes a little brighter. The mid-range is a bit more lush, warm sounding and Caldera's goes BAM! Sitting right in the middle of both of them. Taking that slight neutrality of atrium, slight, slight darkness, yet taking the quick, resolving, slightly warm characteristics of the mid-range of the Verite open. This is the perfect balance of the two. And genuinely more resolving than Verite open, which I actually originally did not agree with. I thought Verite Open was more resolving and more dynamic. But after this break-in period and this open mesh, I have found Caldera's is the next step up from Verite and at least two steps up from Atrium. The graininess is gone. The headphones themselves are viscerally impactful, not so elevated in the mid-bass the way Atrium is, and more tactile, and texturally rich than Verite in the bass response. With the a culmination of the tuning of the ZMF house sound, the weight, the tonal density, the rich vocals, the smooth characteristics, and the presence of instruments. Drums is superb on this. Honestly, I think there's only a couple of other headphones that rival it. This is an utterly outstanding headphone. I've spent the last three weeks, six hours a day listening to this and I have Cesvaros 1266, Stealth, LCD5, Verite Open and all the rest here at the same time. I've been using this on the go on the Diablo 2 using it on the desk with a CA1000T and with a myriad of other equipment here at the same time. I am in love. I found the soul of Calderas and they can be your one and only headphone and they can also live alongside your others. Okay, the Calderas on equipment. Um, so let's start with the lower stuff. So on the Diablo 2, I think this drives it fantastically well in this price category. It's extremely punchy. It leans into the detail retrieval more on that brighter sound characteristic. So the cowhide's a little bit more no-no on that. I would say use the stock pads if you have a Diablo 2. But it does provide that beautiful lush mid-range and incisiveness and for electronic music it's absolutely wonderful i've been using it consistently every day um on the ca1000 t this is a tube hybrid and op amp based unit player streamer review will be coming i don't think it knows what it is so it tries to do everything and it's pretty good at everything to be honest with you using tubes on caldera uh, it's like other zmf headphones is god tier it's absolutely amazing texturally rich 
and definitely a bigger body to the bass response, adding a touch of that holographic characteristic to all the instruments and the singers and the presentation of the music, it's rather wonderful, especially when listening to acoustic jazz, when listening to live bands, etc. Throwing this on the higher end equipment like KNHA 300 Mark II's, head trip, etc. It's off the charts. But I did state at the beginning of the review that Calderas hits his ceiling very quickly. You don't need such tremendous huge chains to drive this to pretty much 95% of its potentiality. It's very, very easily done. Thank you. Oh God, finally, a pair of headphones that can actually do things very, very easily without breaking the bank. So you go alongside Binomial for me and you go alongside some of the other easier to drive headphones like even Lyric, etc., where it doesn't need such a big amount of cash flow. Originally, I reviewed the Calderas on the Wells Audio Head Trip Amplifier review here, and the Rockner Wave Dream DAC, the Holo Audio May DAC, the Holo Audio Bliss Amplifier, the Siegfried Amplifier, and everything else in between, this Q-Style CMA15, etc., and KN HA300 Mark IIs as well. LTA Z10E obviously was the reference for the channel. Now we have moved on to something new. The technicality of these headphones is fantastic. I think it sits very comfortably in the $3,500 category. And I honestly think it encroaches the $4,500 category very easily too. Previously, my couple of gripes with the Caldera were dynamic range and a slight graininess that I felt was part of the drivers. And I took this to be the first gen of its kind, planar, etc. And I kind of did not love the headphones. I appreciated their technicality. I just couldn't find the soul. I couldn't find the connection. And I filmed the review. And then the review got delayed. And maybe that was the universe trying to tell me something. You're not quite hearing what Calderas can do. Many, many months went by. And now we have tested Calderas after a thousand hours of breaking, at least a myriad of new headphones and equipment in between. A replacement of the mesh over the drivers. This has the new mantle mesh, slightly open, and the introduction of the cowhides. Planars sometimes require breaking. This is an actual thing. Sesvara's, Aria's, many headphones in my three years of testing and reviewing headphones professionally, and another decade prior to that, have always led me to believe that you need the equivalent break-in time per driver. If you fancy reviews such as this, consider joining Patreon, where you get early reviews, my thoughts and feelings as equipment comes in, if my feelings change on equipment, way before YouTube and way before the review is complete. And you get to talk to me via voice and ask my advice in the private Telegram chat. If this is beyond your means, your like, your share, and your comment down below is all I require from you. Until the next one, peace.